so nice to see everyone today. As you can see, we have a few new members sitting with us today. This, we're at my uncle, aunt, and cousin's house. And this is the Michael family. They'll be joining us for our devotion today. So please enjoy. Awesome. Thank you all for joining us. Before we get started, we're going to start with a word of prayer. And Ajay, can you lead us in prayer this morning? Sure. Our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful gathering. We come together in your name, Lord, as you've always promised that two or three come together in your name. Your presence is felt here. And this morning, as we have this worship as a family, and uh, we are trying to come together, today is an important day for us, Lord. As Janita is getting confirmed at 4 o'clock service today, we want uh, your blessings to be out upon her and all the participants who are going to be confirmed as well, along with her, Lord. Let the worship be a blessing to all the families who come there and the children who are getting confirmed, let them live their life that is pleasing to you and take the guidance from you in everything that they do, Lord. Thank you for this fellowship time that we have, Lord. Be with us and guide us righteously. Let us always look upon to you for your word every Sunday and lead a life which is fruitful and righteous in your eyes. We call upon all these things in Jesus' one and only precious name, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Ajay. So this morning, I wanted to share with you a word of God from the book of St. John, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 12. And Janita is going to be reading a few verses for us. We are still continuing in the theme of Lent. And this is part of the Lent. And we are coming to the point where Jesus is being anointed by Mary. And so Janita, if you will read those verses for us, please. 1 through 11. 1 through, 1 through 11. <clears throat> Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, home of Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Lazarus and his sisters hosted a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who joined him at the table. Then Mary took an extraordinary amount, almost three quarters of a pound, of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She appointed Jesus' feet with it, then wiped his feet dry with her hair. The house was filled with the aroma of the perfume. Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, complained, his perfume was worth a year's wages. Why wasn't it sold and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He carried the money bag and would take what was in it. Then Jesus said, leave her alone. This perfume was to be used in preparation for my burial, and this is how she has used it. You will always have the poor among you, but you won't always have me. Many Jews learned that he was there. They came not only because Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. The chief priests decided that they would kill Lazarus too. It was because of Lazarus that many of the Jews had deserted them and come to believe in Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Janita. So here in this scripture, where this is a very familiar scripture for all of us for today's lesson. Our focus for today's lesson is actually about Mary. Mary did something very, very unique. And in the scripture, we read that she bought a, about a pint of this fragrance that she had saved. And the fragrance itself, you, you know, any type of perfume, even in this day and age, perfumes are very expensive. If you want the best perfume, they are, they're more costly. And the Bible tells us that this type of perfume that Mary used was very expensive. And so you, you, any perfume that is expensive, every one of us, we know that we will use it sparingly. But Mary decided that she was going to pour this upon Jesus. Now, if somebody is going to pour perfume on someone else, most of the time it will be on our body. Uh, and also if there's going to be some, some type of an anointing, it would be on the head. But Mary chose to pour this expensive perfume on his feet. Now feet is the most filthiest part of our body when we are walking about because that's what touches the ground and the ground is dirty. And Mary chose to pour this anointing upon his feet. And not only did she pour this perfume on his feet, she then chose her hair. The Bible tells us the hair on a woman's head is the crown of glory for her. And she takes that hair, she lets down her hair, and she uses that hair to wipe his feet. 
So Mary brought the most precious thing that she had, which was the perfume, to anoint Jesus on his feet. And she then used the crown of her glory, the crown of her hair, to wipe his feet. And that's where I want us to focus on for this lesson. It's so, well, uh, I, I feel this is very appropriate uh, for us to have this discussion, especially on a day when Danita is going to be confirmed. And to recognize that Mary brought the most precious thing in her life that she had, and she presented it to the Lord. And she also used herself because the hair is the crown of her glory. And she uses that hair to wipe his feet, literally offering herself to the Lord and surrendering to God and saying, all that I, all that I have, all that I am, I give it to you. I surrender my life to you. And however you choose to use me, God, I'm yours to be used for your glory. And on a day when Janita is getting confirmed and she is making an affirmation to the public that she has chosen Christ to be her Lord and Savior and that she is surrendering her life to God and to read this scripture to, say, to recognize that even Mary, uh, the, whatever the thing that she had was the most expensive thing that she had, she offered it to God. Judas Iscariot, who was also the money collector, was offended. We could have sold that perfume for a large sum of money and you could have given it to the poor. Now, who knows, would Judas who was stealing money from the church and money from the people, would he have really given it to the poor or would he pocket it himself? We don't know what his ulterior motive was. We were not there, we don't know him. So we don't know what his intentions were, but his point of view was, you could have sold that and given it to the poor yet you just wasted it on the feet of Jesus. Judas, again, did not understand the importance of Jesus, the Messiah. He was there with the crowd. He understood some of the things that Jesus did, but he did not value who Jesus was. But Mary knew the value because Mary was saved by Jesus. All the demons were chased away by, by, by Jesus that was in Mary. And so she understood the importance of giving everything to God and allowing him to use her for his kingdom glory. And that's why she gave the perfume, which was the most treasured thing that she had. And then she gave herself to Jesus by using her very hair, that is the crown and beauty and glory of a woman, to wipe it clean so that she can surrender everything to Jesus. So this morning, Janita, and to those of you that are watching, I would say that whatever God has given you, whatever the precious thing that God has given you, he has chosen you intentionally to be part of his kingdom. And all the gifts and talents that he has given you, he is asking you and expecting you to use for his glory. So everything that you do, whatever you do, when you present it to the Lord and surrender yourself to him and be used of him, he will take you places where you have never imagined all the talent that we hear about you on a daily basis from your mom and dad and the things that you're doing in the church, the way you are playing music in the church. You know, the, you've been learning piano what, for eight years now? 11 years, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. 11 years now. And with all that, the experience that you have now attained, now God is using you in your church, the very church where you are growing up, and he's using you to use those talents for his glory. And the, you know, whatever Mary had, she gave it to the Lord. Whatever you have, you are giving to the Lord. You're following in the right direction. Your parents are doing a great job with both your brother, Jason, and you. And uh, you are going in the right path where God is asking you to go. And I would encourage you to walk in that path always. Every morning when you wake up, uh, you know, uh, I always say this, don't start the day without prayer. Don't end the day without prayer. Fit in your Bible reading and your daily devotion in there also somewhere in the day so that you are always close to God, no matter what you do, remain in God's presence. No matter where you go, remain in God's presence. Even when your uh, the eyes of your parents are not upon you, God's eyes are always upon you. 
And so be truthful in God's kingdom. Be faithful to your calling and God will surely bless you. We hope that this day has been a blessing to you. We pray that God will continue to be with you and God bless you. We pray that you'll have a great week and God be with you and be a blessing to you and be a blessing to someone else today. God bless.
So everyone, thank you all for watching. God be with you. Before we close, let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the things you're doing in our lives, oh God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the love you shared on the cross of Calvary. Right now, we commit all ourselves to you, oh God. Wash us with your blood. Cleanse us, purify us, and make us whole. We place uh, Jenita into your hands, oh God, as she is getting confirmed today, Lord. Be with the Guide her, God, her protect her, and watch over her, O oh God. Surround her with the holy angels and protect her, O oh God. Whatever she does, O oh God, let it be pleasing in your sight. We commit ourselves into your hands, O oh God. Protect us and watch over us, O oh God. And help us to walk in your way. Help us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice unto you, O oh God, till the days to come, O oh God. Be with us, guide us, protect us, and watch over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed week. Bye now. Bye, everyone.